Hello everybody, it is Barbara Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build on my channel. This is a super duper short one because today I built a studio apartment. It is titled Baby Blue Studio Apartment. It has one bathroom and then it's, you know, a studio apartment. So the bedroom is just kind of in with everything else. Um, it is in the apartment that Penny Pizzazz lives in. I think it's pretty cute. Um, I know I use a lot of blue in my builds just because like every object comes in blue so it's super easy to match things with blue. But um, I do like the way that this turned out. I think it's cute and 10 out of 10 would do again. I don't know. <laughs> if you want to download this um, apartment and place it in your own gameplay, you can do that. It is available for download on my gallery. If you want to, you know, experience it, if you do, post some screenshots on Twitter, tag me, I want to see, um, yeah, I'm that YouTuber. Anyways, <laughs> how are you guys doing? I'm doing great. This is my first video that I am recording uh, since my graduation. Grad was good. Don't have time to tell any stories in this video, but trust me, I do have some stories. Not as... You know, it didn't end up being as dramatic as I was anticipating, which I think is probably a good thing. <laughs> there wasn't like a lot of drama. There was some, but not a lot, which is good. You know, good times. Um, it was a lot of fun. Pictures on my Twitter, if you want to see them, link in the description. You know, check that out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it was good times. I have four blisters from my shoes. I wore my heels the whole night. Didn't take them off once because I am a powerhouse. And yeah, that's my story. But yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> um, and oh my goodness, I am graduated, you guys. It's so crazy. I have, when you're seeing this, it will have already happened, but when I'm recording this, I have my first final exam on Friday. You're seeing this on Sunday, so it already happened when you're seeing this, but I'm stressed about it. I mean, uh, I'm probably going to fail it miserably, but you know, all that matters is that you try. And actually, since I'm graduated, I'm planning on a change in my life. Uh, and it, to some people, this would seem like not a big deal, but to me, it is a big deal because I'm planning on cutting and coloring my hair. I'm not going to cut it myself, but I want to color it myself. Um, nothing too crazy. I want like an ombre. And I want to do it myself because I feel like if I go somewhere to have it done and it gets screwed up and I don't like it, then I'll be like super mad at them and hate everything and like be mad that I paid so much for it and everything like that. But if I do it myself, then and it you know, get screwed up, the only one I can be mad at is myself. And then I can then go to a salon and have them fix it for me. So I think I'm going to do it myself. And I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll try. <laughs> like, it won't be my first time coloring my hair. I had, like, highlights put in. They were, like, red highlights when I was in grade four. Um, And then when I was in grade nine, I had, like, the underside of my hair colored, you know what I mean? Like, where it's not all of it, just like the underside. I don't know how to explain, but that's what I did in grade 9. And first it was pink, and then it was purple, and then it was blue, and the blue definitely looked the best. And then I wanted to dye back to my natural color, so I just got like a box dye that was supposed to be like a medium brown, but it was actually straight up black. Like, I'm just saying, like, on my hair, it was, it was straight up black. There, That was not medium brown. Uh-uh, girl, that was black. So that was fun. I just had like half black hair for a while. Um, but now all of my hair that has been colored has grown out and been chopped off. Because it's been like three years. And yeah, I got like a really like a six, seven inch haircut um, in September. And that completely took off any of my hair that was dyed. So all of my hair is like 100% virgin hair you know, all luscious and healthy and never been dyed ever in its life and I'm just about to ruin all of that because I'm an awful person. But I'm going to get my hair cut after I color it myself because that way, you know, it cuts off all of like the dead ends from the color job. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> I took cosmetology uh, for two years. I'm supposed to know how to color hair, but I don't 
who knows how this is gonna go and um, yeah so it's like it's probably gonna look weird before I cut it because it's gonna look like the ombre starts super high up but then once I cut it it'll look better I think that's my theory anyways <laughs> I don't know oh this is gonna be such a mess um, I'm also kind of debating whether or not I want to like record like make a video out of me ombre my own hair so if you guys want to see that like let me know in the comments because I think I'm going to but I don't know it's gonna be a disaster I'm excited but it's gonna be a disaster I mean it's fine but anyways I am actually going to go ahead and go because the video is finishing up now thank you all so much for watching and listening to me ramble on about my hair um, I hope that you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my very next video bye you guys